Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's end of day's trading, Monday, the 17th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of market stats, FTSE finishes up 25 points, mainly helped by the stronger Chinese GDP numbers and stronger Chinese data overall, retail sales and production as well. Industrial production certainly higher, even though a lot of people are accusing the numbers of being uh, fudged. Either way, uh, it's a status quo, and we have to deal with it. Okay, uh, your so uh, FTSE 100 certainly helped by the miners. The copper as copper prices certainly push higher. But bring up the price of copper here, folks. Uh, here we go. Okay, so you can see copper prices pushing higher, hitting that 2.73 level, potentially even higher. Uh, certainly a bullish move in the copper. And that certainly is helping the uh, the miners today, obviously led by China. Okay, so that certainly is looking bullish as it stands. Okay, in terms of oil as well, oil pushed higher as well, certainly helped commodities in general. Obviously, given the fact that uh, Chinese demand is there uh, to support. Uh, although having said that, the uh, German DAX, French CAC, uh, FTSE MIB all certainly came under pressure, given the fact that stronger inflation data out of Europe this morning certainly helped the euro move higher. And obviously, given the fact that we uh, the weaker dollar post uh, inflation data and post yellow last week out of the US certainly is uh, hurting the European equities ability to uh, to actually uh, start to uh, rise so no follow through from European markets uh, given the uh, new highs on the S&P if you bring up the S&P 500 here folks okay um, the daily chart certainly is breaking above and remaining above that key resistance at 24.53 so the bull certainly in firm command there although i did see the i did actually have a long position on uh, on the uh, s p but i actually closed given the fact that we had a lack of follow through in asia and lack of follow through in europe but certainly nevertheless uh, it's in a zombie mode and zombie mode generally means market continues to float higher on manipulation and distortion call it what you want okay the algos take over Okay, so that certainly is a status quo. So Europe, stronger inflation data is certainly hurting equities, and the UK, stronger GDP data from the uh, from the from China certainly helping the FTSE. Now, having said that, the FTSE was underwater at one time. Okay, uh, during the day, I actually shorted the FTSE initially at this pivot high here at seven four ten, seven four twelve, and then I actually called my short around the seven three ninety zone. So uh, certainly, uh, the concerns over Brexit bickering uh, go on. Obviously, sterling hitting 1.31 certainly has pulled back now, back to 1.3060, and uh, that certainly has helped the FTSE move higher as well. So, again, stronger sterling certainly uh, hindering the FTSE, as you can see here, this rally here from 1.28 to 1.31, 300 pip rally, very impressive. Okay, uh, that certainly is uh, preventing the FTSE from really following the uh, US equities. So, it certainly seems like US equities are alone. And certainly seem to be wanting to move higher on the back of that. Okay, so let's see the German DAX. Okay, let's bring up the German DAX first and foremost. Daily chart, German DAX, bearish engulfing candle, uh, hurt due to the stronger euro and stronger inflation numbers in indicating tapering. Obviously, we have Draghi this week as well, so that certainly needs to be taken into focus. Having said that, we are in higher highs and higher lows. So again, bias remains bear bullish ever since we put in a double bottom. So this is a potential higher low here. Having uh, so, uh, if I use a Fibonacci retracement, we held Fib 50% today. Uh, just bear in mind that you do have an unfilled gap below. Obviously, two unfilled gaps below. Uh, certainly, is gap fill and gap fill. Okay, so watch out for that. Uh, gap fill at uh, 12430 and then gap fill at 12390. So, those are the two gaps that certainly need to be filled and need to be closed. So, watch out below if there is a major risk off move. Uh, okay, so 10 minute chart. We certainly retested previous resistance equals support and then we subsequently bounced. Okay, and that certainly is the status quo at present. Okay, in terms of the actual uh, FTSE itself, okay, let's bring up the FTSE 100 chart. Daily chart at present is uh, currently in a diagonal trend line resistance. Okay, uh, certainly is consolidating when it's bullish green candle. So, again, a bull flag scenario certainly is uh, highly uh, likely as well. 60 minute chart at the moment, we have inverted head and shoulders potentially, although it was negated towards the end. So, for now, we're holding resistance at 7430, 7440, and then 7450. So, watch out for that. Okay, in terms of the 10 minute chart at the moment, you certainly have, I mean, we did make a higher high. Okay, but then after that, we certainly gave up the gain. So, Again, let's see how this market really responds. We still have an unfilled gap that needs to be closed at 7.380. So watch out for that. Any negative surprises post Netflix earnings today could certainly send the NASDAQ lower and S&P obviously tumbling as well. 
So it's interesting. I mean, no real follow through again from the US markets today, just trading sideways, okay, just trading sideways and attempting to hold that, uh, those gains. Okay, uh, in terms of the euro, uh, let's move on to the CAC, sorry folks, okay, French CAC trading sideways as well, holding key resistance at 5245, just trading sideways, no real concerted move here. Again, you are looking to potentially target that gap at 5295. You do have a higher high and higher low in place, so let's just see how that obviously reacts as well. Just be nimble and uh, be mindful that there are gaps on either side. Okay, so either side, market can move either way. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European equities today. Uh, a stronger inflation number this morning, certainly uh, sending the euro up to 1.1480, thereby hurting European equities and their ability to move higher. FTSE helped by stronger Chinese data. Let's see how US uh, let's see how US equities fare, and obviously we'll, we'll, we'll certainly find our uh, direction, given especially given the fact that the Shanghai closed negative 1.4 percent, and then the Nikkei certainly didn't confirm the uh, the new high on the S and P I 500 as well. So it'd be interesting to see exactly what happens there. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus, and be sure to visit the, uh, the or download the new Trade Signal app. Goodbye now.